Good day everyone! So we have conducted a comparative study regarding the saving habits of male and female university students of the Ateneo de Davao University. The researchers are as follows. Yours truly, Evs Margaret Fulgarinas, Mr. Mark Heron, Mr. Julius Cesar Beldad, and Ms. Fabi Cates Rodriguez, who will also discuss the importance of the study. So the importance or why we chose this topic is to know and compare the saving habits of male and female students of Ateneo de Davao University. The primary objective of this study is to explore if there is a significant difference in university students in their different profiles. Um, this is our conceptual framework. In the first box is the independent variable. Our independent variable is university students which consists of two categories, male and female. And this box is the, the dependent variable. The dependent variable is personal monthly savings. This study is conducted to compare <laughs> this study is conducted to compare um, monthly savings that I uh, saving habits that contribute to the monthly savings of Ateneo students. Um, the study will answer the following questions. First, what is the profile of the students in Ateneo de Davao University? Second, what is the mean personal monthly savings of the students in Ateneo de Davao University? And third, is there a significant difference on the personal monthly savings between male and female <laughs> students in Ateneo de Davao University? <laughs> Yo, <boy. laughs> So our research hypothesis is there is no significant difference on the personal monthly savings between male and female students in Ateneo de Davao University. For our method, we have gathered data from 380 ra randomly selected students from Ateneo de Davao University Jacinto Campus. We estimated the sample size using Cochran's formula since the population size is unknown. Here is the distribution of respondents. And for our materials and procedure, we have utilized self-made survey questionnaires through Google Forms. And then our sampling method is systematic random sampling, wherein we survey every fifth person in every designated, designated area. Our study uses a compar comparative research design. To determine the if the data met the assumptions for for parametric test, we use test of normality of Kolmogorov Smirnov and test of homogeneity of variances of Levin statistics. Based on the results, the the variances are homogeneous since all of the seed values are above above 0.0. .0 Zero five. However, the the seed value of test of normality is below 0 0.05. Therefore, the assum assumptions of normality is violated. Hence, we we use one with me. Mm, this is the descriptive statistics of monthly savings of students in Ateneo de Davao University. Here is the result of the one with me test. From the asymptotic seed value and Monte Carlo two-tailed seed values, it, it is above 0 0.05. Hence, we have failed to reject the null hypothesis, which states that there is no significant difference in the mean monthly savings of students, male and female students in Ateneo de Valle University. <coughs> For our conclusions, therefore we conclude that there is no, there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. And the level for a likelihood of men and women having no significant difference in their saving habits is above average. This implies that the saving habits of male and female do not differ from each other. Hence, regardless of gender, their monthly savings with respect to their monthly allowance is the same. That's all. Thank you.